Assalamu alaikum kya haal hai acha so in this video uh, this video will be on application of stationary point and increasing and decreasing function so the first thing we'll be discussing is the how to apply how would you expect to have questions on stationary point now acha ji to in this question you have been given an open rectangular tank jiski height h hai the height is h and the length and the width are also given to you they are saying that it has been covered by a lid of negligible thickness so the length and width of the lid are 5 over 4x and 4 over 5x the total volume of the tank is 4 meter cube the material from which the tank is made is of negligible thickness okay now the external surface area of the tank together with the area of the top of the lid so external surface area of the tank together with the area of the top of the lid is a meter square sabse pehle you have to express h in terms of x and then show that the area is equal to this express h in terms of x so the information given to you in the question is regarding the volume the volume of the tank would be x times half x times h the volume given to you is 4 if you simplify this and make as the subject you get 8 over x square this is h in terms of x now in order to show that the area is coming out to be equal to this area of the tank plus the area of the top surface of the lid so surface area of the tank would be sabse pehle you will be able to touch the uh, bottom surface which is this this surface iska jo area hoga that is x square over 2 then you have this surface and it will be on both sides 2xh over 2 so then you will be having this surface iska area ho jayega xh and this is also on the other side so all the five faces are covered upar wala isliye nahi hoga kyunki uh uske upar lid hai theek hai and the top surface of the lid would be 4 over 4x over 5 times 5x over 4 4 over 5x times 5x over 4 if you simplify this all you get x square over 2 plus xh plus xh 3xh plus x square now the area that we need to show doesn't have h in it to yahan se h substitute ho jayega ye ho jayega 3x square over 2 plus 3x times h which is 8 over x square simplify this expression you get 24 over x that's your area ka expression that you were supposed to show now in the next part they are saying given that x can vary find the value of x for which a is minimum if x can vary So area is three x square over two plus twenty four over 
24 x raised to the power minus 1. Sabse pehle you'll differentiate this and you get 3x minus 24 x raised to the power minus 2. dA over dx are you have pass. Now, with, in order to have the minimum area, you will set dA over dx as 0. It's a stationary value. You want to find the corresponding value of x, which makes your area a stationary value. So, 3x minus 24 over x square. So, x cube is 8. x is coming out to be 2. Now, we know that at x equals to 2, the value of the area is stationary. But is it minimum or maximum? So for that, what you'll do is you'll take the second derivative. You'll differentiate the area expression again, this expression, and you get 3 plus 48 x raised to the power of minus 3. So you need to find d square a over dx square at x equals to 2. Okay. So this will give you a positive value. Since your d square a over dx square is greater than 0, therefore this point, this value of area is minima. If in the question you were asked to find the minimum area, then you have you should have plugged x back into the original area equation and get the minimum value of area. Okay, so let's have a discussion on increasing and decreasing functions now. Visualize that you have you have a you have this curve in front of you. Now this curve the value of the function is decreasing as you move as you increase the values of x and the function is decreasing till this stationary point okay after after this stationary point the function is increasing and then it's de decreasing again okay so if I say that these are the intervals or I shall just write ah, say so from re in the region from C to A, my function is decreasing. Why? Because if you try to take tangent at every point, you will have a negative gradient. Okay. And in parts where the function is increasing, my tangent is positive. The, the region where the gradient where the function is decreasing again the gradient is negative at the stationary value we know that the gradient is zero so if the function if the function equation has been given to you and you differentiate it and I got y equals to some equation given the 3x cube plus 5x and you differentiate this for example 9x squared plus 5 and let's say you are being asked to find the gradient at any particular point between a and b so let me take this value as 1 so let's say I need to find at, at x equals to 1 so the, the gradient comes out to be a positive value 
so if dy by dx is positive at between that region on any particular point my function is an increasing function because dy by dx is positive the the region where the function is decreasing dy by dx is less than 0 and it will be a decreasing function Achaji, so let's look at this question you need to find the range of values of x for which this function this curve is increasing so this function first of all what you'll do is you'll differentiate the function okay now when y is increasing meaning when your curve is increasing increasing dy by dx would be a positive value greater than 0 so 3x square plus 10x minus 8 is greater than 0 and you can factorize this quadratic equation and you will get 3x minus 2 x plus 4 greater than 0 now the critical values critical values I'm referring to critical values as those values where my function would be equal to 0 so the critical values would be 2 over 3 and minus 4 so if I give a quick sketch of this gradient function 1 would be minus 4 and the other would be 2 over 3 I need to find that range of values of x where my function is increasing so or this region and this region because as I increase the values of x after this point this point is this point was minus 4 jump up a function 0 tha, and this point is 2 over 3 jump up a function 0 tha. all those values that are greater than 2 over 3 or all those values of x that are less than minus 4 your function is an increasing function because the gradient is increasing gradient is positive okay okay in this question you have been given f of x so f of x is 2x minus 5 raised to the power of 3 plus x you need to show that it's a the function is an increasing function for all real values so first thing would be to differentiate the function the differentiation of f of x can be written as f prime of x so you'll decrease the power by 1 times the differentiation of the inside bracket which is 2 plus 1 so f prime of x is 6 2x minus 5 the whole thing square plus 1 okay now this function will never be negative why because 2 2x minus 5 since 2x minus 5 the whole thing square is will always be positive for any value of x so for all real values of x the square of 2x minus 5 will always be a positive number so f prime of x will always be positive so if f prime of x is always positive for all real values of the, uh, for all real values of x 
then you can say that the function f of x is always an increasing function. Achaji, so the last thing that I need to discuss in this video is the chain rule. The chain rule is simply this. For example, if you want to find dy by dt, you have a function of y in terms of x, okay, and you differentiate the function of y with respect to x, you will get dy by dx. You have been given how the x is varying with respect to time you have been given this and you want you are being asked to find the rate of change of y so the rate of change of y with respect to time all right so you will apply chain rule and this is how you apply chain rule you will write dy okay now in the leftover places you can write the other variable which is dx so that's your chain rule similarly let's say uh, a glass of water was being the water from the glass was being poured on the floor so let's imagine that with respect to time the area would be increasing okay and since the area is also increasing the radius would also be increasing and the area is in the circular path so you you know that area is pi r square right of a circle with the increasing radius the value of area would also be increasing so if you differentiate this the area with respect to r you get 2 pi r let's say in the question dr over dt the rate of change of the radius is given to you as 2 centimeter per second and the question says find dA over dt the rate of change of area with respect to time so dA over dt is by applying chain rule dA over dr dA by dr times dr by dt okay so let's refer to a question In this question, a funnel has a circular top of diameter 20 cm and a height of 30 cm. When the depth of a liquid in the funnel is 12, the liquid is dripping from the funnel at a rate of 0.2 cm cube per second. At what rate is the depth of the liquid in the funnel decreasing at this instant? So basically, you need to find dH by dt. Now, if you closely observe the geometry, this is the radius of the liquid inside the funnel and this is the height we know that with respect to time the radius would be decreasing and the height would also be decreasing because there is an outflow from this funnel the volume would be decreasing because of the leakage okay now can I have the equation in terms of R and H if you closely observe that a similar triangle being formed so the ratio of radius versus height would be same so 20 over 30 will have a same ratio as the radius over height so if you make R the subject you get 2 H over 3 and this will be used now the volume as uh, volume of a the volume of the cone is given as 1 over 3 pi r square h so if you differentiate this with respect to h actually right now you cannot differentiate this because there are two variables r and h so, so let's substitute r as 2h over 3 
and simplify this so you get 4 over 27 pi h cube so now you need to differentiate this with the volume with respect to height so you get 4 over 9 pi h square you are being asked to find dh by dt dh by dt will be equal to dh over dv times dv over dt dh by dv will be the reciprocal of dv by dh which is 9 over 4 pi h square and dv by dt is given to you as 0.2 centimeter cube per second now in order to find dh by dt at this instant you need to plug in the value of h at what instant are we supposed to find dh by dt at the instant when the when the dripping rate is 0.2 cm cube per second and the depth of the funnel which is the I height is 12 so you now have to find dh over dt at t equals to 12 so just plug in the value of h is 12 and you get something 1 over 320 pi centimeter per second 